Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines. Where last episode, it was D-Day. And things changed, man. D-Day changed the world forever. Some may argue for the better. Some may argue for worse. But one thing's for certain. The city will never be the same. In fact, it is super, ultra, beautiful now. Because last time was decorating day, and we built... Our beach here, which is called Sunrise Beach now. Thanks for the name suggestion, guys. We added in this opera house over here. Ooh, let's rebuild that. And we made this entire shopping and stadium district. So, yeah, pretty big episode. Lots of progress. And in between last time and today, I went through pretty much everything with a fine tooth comb. Just decorating every little area I could, making sure that this city area is up to snuff and fully realized. Like, they're everywhere. Down here, there's fences I put in. Just everywhere you look now, you're gonna see a little bit of detail. A little bit of flair! And I'd have to say, I'd say our downtown central area is done. For the most part. Still a few things to do later on, but we need more unlocks for that. A uh, main issue for today is gonna be paying for all of our decorations. Because they're expensive, man. We're only making like a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars for a city of 21,000 people almost. Yeah. Uh, we gotta make some dollar reduce. So today, we are going to undergo a massive expansion. And all week, I was working on this beautiful, absolutely insane interchange here to facilitate the expansion. We're going to have a new city-like area over here. We're going to get into the oil industry. And then, oh god, I don't know if we'll get to over here, but we have the capacity to make something happen. So, if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Alright though, our main focus today is to get our oil industry up and running as fast as possible. Uh, my income is dipped to negative $12,000, and <laughs> we're gonna go bankrupt in a little bit if we can't get this thing running right quick. So, uh, we are just gonna get as much money out of this as possible. So I've added in a toll booth here, so if you're going to work in the oil industry, you're ruining the planet, you're gonna pay for it, one way or another. So we're gonna toll them on the way in, and probably toll them on the way out. And that's fine by me. And then, with the highways here, I just extended from our mean junction here, down over this way, and brought it over here. I'm trying to keep it on the ground too, because I want this side of the highway to be industry, and this side of the highway to be more city stuff. Like, probably Moonlight Cre uh, Crescent will continue to move down here. We'll have, like, rich people estates and stuff like that. So I wanted the highway to kind of segregate the areas. Anyway, though, for the road network for our industry, I have done something like this. It's kind of like for our city, where all the trucks are going to come in here, and they are gonna go either one of two ways. This way, or this way. And they're gonna kind of funnel their way down further and further, closer to the coast. And then, once they're done, they're gonna scoot over this way, up the highway, and they're gone. And that's the whole system, really. So really here, when everything's said and done, you're looking at one large, relatively complicated Plinko machine. And that's really it, right? So everyone will come in here, they bat up, oh, let's pause. We'll come in here, they'll either go uh, this way or this way, and we'll kind of funnel on down. And then once they're done funneling down, I need a little reset to the Plinko. So say they needed to get to a building that's like here, but then they need to deliver the stuff from here to over here. Well, guess what? There's a little bridge that they can just scoot, skirt, and there they go. So essentially, it resets the Plinko. And then, of course, they just kind of skewed off to the highway over here, and they're gone. Kind of simple, little complicated, 
Hopefully it works. Also, I was thinking of tolling them at the uh, uh, highway entrance over here. But then I was like, wait, that's going to slow down traffic way too much. And traffic's going to be a big problem in here already. So yeah, no double tolling. Anyway, I think it's about time to get our factories in place. So here we go. By the way, I unlocked everything off camera so we can build the full oil industry right off the bat here. So we don't have to make it like a big two-parter, trillion part stupid kind of thing. It's just gonna be set and done today. So uh, first off, let's put the main building over here. There we go. Wow, looks cool, dark, spooky. Hmm, I like it though. And then let's bring the power on in. I think I have a power line around here somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but boop, bop. Come on, come on. Oh, you little highway. Stop being a rascal, all right? Thank you. There we are. Okay, so it's time to put in the industrial buildings. And really, all of the industry in City of Skylines is really simple. There's raw materials, and then there's factories to process them. And that's it. So uh, we want the raw materials up front, r easily accessed, and ready to go. So uh, we're going to put these guys up here. Space them out a bit so we don't have like a trillion trucks kind of like <laughs> spamming the road here. There we go. And then we'll put the processing buildings further down the chain. Oh my god, does that just... <gasps> oh my god, it fits perfectly. Yes, dude! <laughs> yeah, we'll have these down here. Oh, that's so cool. What do these even do? So we can either make plastic or we can make petroleum, it seems. Okay. And then we need storage as well. Okay, well, yeah, we'll have the plastics, I suppose, being produced over here. Or these are the plastic ones, right? Yeah. And then we'll have the petroleum ones on a different line. So, yeah, same one, good. And we'll just dot them around. Again, leaving some space so uh, traffic doesn't go absolutely berserk. <laughs> Waste oil refining plant and ooh, NAFTA cracker plant. Neat. Is this thing just a higher capacity kind of dealio? Looks like it. We'll get to that in a second here. Let's get the petroleum online. So they come in, they get the processing buildings over here. And you know, we could have the petroleum processing on this side of the map actually. So if they wanted to go and do that. Pull the petroleum off over here. That looks pretty good. So, oh, storage. <laughs> storage, storage, storage. We need big storage buildings. Now, where do we want oil to be stored? Right in the middle here. Yeah. These are kind of like the most important buildings. So we will have quite a few around. One there, there. Come on. One more. Oh, why can't you just give it to me? Oh, there's another oil storage. Oh, that one's way more convenient. Wait, are they both oil? Oil industry storage. Large crude oil tank farm. So yeah, it's just a larger oil thing. Gotcha. In a storage cavern? Dude, you better believe we're gonna have a bat cave full of oil. Are you kidding me? Let's put her in, brother. Put in quite a few. Okay. Now that's a lot. Let's see how everything runs. Hmm, and industry, petroleum, plastic, acquisition. How much oil do these things produce? Do 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 do, 9,600 units. That's uh, storage. These things can burn through 14 barrels. Okay, well, 9,600 units is how many barrels, though? 16 barrels. Ouch! Okay, so we need a lot more extractors here. And probably a little bit more power, eh? Let's just scoot that down the highway. There we go. Alright, and fast forward. Ah, 
And finally, I get to see traffic through this interchange. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, this would have been an entire episode if I actually recorded building this. So I know it's like I'm cutting a lot, but would you guys want to watch an entire episode of me building an interchange? There's some of you that will say yes, but <laughs> all I know is I wouldn't want to watch that. So yeah, I didn't want to make you guys sit through it. Alrighty though, so more production leaves. Right now, this is gonna buy a lot of oil because we have not enough. So let's get more production buildings online. This, I don't like how that looks at all. Yep, looks of course always a big factor. Let's just put in these guys. There we go, that should look a lot better. Oh yeah, absolutely. Looks like they're actually part of the tank plant. And then, oh, <laughs> city services. I forgot, this is part of the city, duh. Well, we're already produce, or we're already burning a lot of oil and stuff here, so let's make some incinerators. So that will do a garbage pickup and then burn the garbage. We need a fire watch tower. Oh my God, we need this. This just, I think, makes the area safer and prevents some more fires. We'll get one of these in here. Probably a big one too, eh? Yeah, we'll put that right up in here. There we go. And I just made a little off ramp here so it, the fire trucks can actually get back into the area. And there we go. Or if someone like entered the highway and needed to turn around. Oh my sweet goodness though. Wow, that's a lot of trucks, brother. That's a lot of trucks. Dang, this thing got busy quick. Ooh. Oh my god. But we're not making money. Why? Because we're importing all of our oil. We're losing thousands of dollars. Oh my god, help. <laughs> all of them are importing oil to try and fill up our storage capacity. Okay, we need a lot more pumps. A lot more pumps. Let's put a bunch over here. There we go, very nice, close together. Good. So that's more pumps for over here. They can go to the factories there. We can put more factories on the other side of the road too. Let's put some bigger ones, the big old drill machines. There we go. It's gonna blast traffic real crazy, but hey, we need it. We need these pumps, man. And what's this? Sludge thing? Okay. Okay, now we should be like, all right, or decent at least. Let's just put the sludge thing in here. Yeah? Yeah. Alrighty. It looks, you know, beyond anything, it looks really cool. So like, hey, there's that. And our money isn't just like skyrocketing downwards. Does that mean we're profitable? Hello? Uh, we're getting there. <laughs> I think we might have won a soccer game or something. Oh, and then police. We need police in here. All right, fine. We can have some police. Sure. We'll just throw them in here. Yeah. Seems fine. For whatever reason, though, these industry buildings do not respond well to, like, anything. Like, there's garbage trucks right across the street, but... Still, a lot of the time it will ask for like more garbage capacity. So it's just a greedy building. See what I mean? Greedy freaking building. We're gonna ignore it for now. <laughs> so it should be fine. Power's still good. Yeah. No. Oh, maybe that's why we're losing all of our money. All the power's out. What did I do? Oh, I disconnected a line over here. When did I do that? That's a, that's a bit of a whoops. That's a definitely why some of our city is dying. Oh my God. Oof. Well, that's gonna take a second to rebuild. That's okay. No big deal. And this seems to be running a bit better now. Already two stars, about to be three. All right, so now I just need to scale it up a bit and we should be profitable. Oh yeah. Really profitable, guys. $20,000 weekly income. This area making $30,000. Is that a week or... 
Oh, that's a weekly profit. Yeah, weekly profit of $32,000. Are you kidding me, game? 23,000 off plastic, 6,000 off of petroleum, and raw oil sales of 14.7. Dang. That is absolutely insane. And still, selling raw oil, not the best thing. So a few more factories in here. And that should help out a little bit. Maybe some more petroleum since we're clearly not making a huge ton of that. Where can we even add them in now? I filled up the city so much. There's so much production. Things are going wild, man. Things are going wild. I guess we can add them in here. Why not? Bada boom, bada bop. All right, though, and the main thing is we need to focus now on selling all of our products. So if we have everything being trucked out to the highway, it takes a long time. Oh, little oil trucks got to scoot here, scoot there, and just oh, travel forever to get out of the map. Forever and ever. Oh, yeah, by the way, I had a toll boost back here, too. Anyway. Main point though, that's a long distance from A to B. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a cargo train. So these act essentially as outer city connections, like a highway. So we can sell our goods to the train and then it scoots out, meaning we can sell stuff more quickly, meaning we earn more money. The big thing though, is with cargo trains, these are the de facto busiest building in the game. Lots and lots and lots of traffic. It's in, it's actually insane. So I've kind of reworked the uh, roads a bit to kind of facilitate the new traffic we're about to bring in. And what I did was I extended kind of our roundabout area. So now there's a one way road going through here, going up here, and then it exits to the highway. And what we can do is we can just add our cargo train place right in here. And that will handle everything. The traffic shouldn't get too bad. All of this area can reach the cargo train. And it should be fine. So with vehicle traffic kind of figured out, now we have to worry about train traffic. Because yes, these buildings get so busy. You have to worry about that. It's nuts. But there is a pretty simple solution to it all. All you really want to do here is split up the incoming and outgoing train traffic. So uh, let's just put in a line like this. There we go. And use a one-way track to kind of go out this way. Right. Just want to make sure it's all lined up and looking pretty. There we go. And connect it from there to there. What do you mean distance is too short, video game? You don't know distances. Rascal. <laughs> there we go. So we just do a little thing like that. And as you can see, the outgoing train traffic will just go directly to that line. And now the incoming traffic will come out over this way. And let's see here. You see what's going down, brother? And it will enter through the other side of the station. There we go. So now all the incoming traffic goes in through there. And I think this can now handle it. two trains at once being docked here. I'm not 100% sure that's how it works, but like it looks like it, right? Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Now I just have to connect this line <laughs> over here. So that'll just take me a moment. Yeah, adding in the train track really only did take a second here. And guys, oh my gosh, check this out. So uh, I followed the, the highway here, goes underneath here and check it out, check it out, check it out. It's like running parallel with this little, what's this called, highway exit. I was like, no way, dude. That's so cool. So it works just as a straight line, little curve right down into here. And then I just finagled the tracks a little bit so that trains coming in will kind of deviate over this way. Trains going out will deviate over this way. And we don't have any rails crossed, so there won't be any train traffic. So now, I'm not going to forget this time, we're going to actually reconnect the power, because I disconnected a ton of stuff. <laughs> and we're not going to have a super major cataclysmic blackout. Of course not. 
There we go. And now does everything just work? Come on. Come on, it should just work, right? Trains, enter my city, deliver products. Let me sell you my oil. Hello? Are you an oil train? You better be an oil train. Passenger train? Nope. Let's go into the hub. I think it'll take a couple seconds here. Oh, I think I see one, guys. I think I see one. All right, let's slow her down. Stop. Hello there, buddy. We are going to follow you. So I think I just do this, a little bit of that. Adventure time through our little train track. Oh, and then we're sending one out too. Did you see all the oil cars? Oh, look at that. We're sending out oil trains. First off, we'll slow down. Skirts to the other track. Oh my, we are actually sending so much oil out, it's insane. Go over the road, literally, and over this way. Into the oil. Look at all the trucks. Look at all the production. It's so cool. It's so cool. And off, slow down as you approach the station. Good, good, good. And bada boom. We did it, guys. And it's reloaded with oil and sent away. Are those? Oh, what the heck? Those are empty, empty cars. I didn't even know that could happen. Huh. Well, very, very, very cool. Now, traffic. Hmm. Traffic, of course, is a little, a little mm, crazy. There's no real way to make it any better than this, though. Like, no. That's just how it's gonna be. Uh, what about over here? We have a bunch of buildings like that. We're gonna need to switch this road around to be a one way like this. There we go. And that's just so, hopefully, yeah, they use the bridge a bit more. Because I don't want all the traffic piling up in this area. I'd rather it go through here and use these extra bridge connections I made. Holy sweet Jesus, though. What the heck? What the heck, man? Dude. Well, A, jack that price up. Okay, this is not good. Like I was saying, this is the busiest uh, building in the game. So... What do we do now? I suppose one idea is we build another one and maybe that will alleviate some of the traffic? And like the rail goes right through here, so maybe here is a good place. Yeah. Because I don't see a way I can solve this traffic problem. Like it's, it's not like a road network issue, it's a capacity issue. This one terminal cannot handle it, man. It cannot. So admittedly, this was not the project I had expected to have to do today, but <laughs> there we go. We have a second cargo train terminal in. So I just can only hope that alleviates some of the traffic. Essentially though, how it works is the people from the ore industry have this little exit they can go on, go sweeps around right into here. The highway goes around here, splits off at this junction, and skirts into there as well. So it's functional. And then the traffic after that goes this way, up onto the highway, or into the city. Hopefully just up into the highway though. So hopefully that cuts down on a lot of the train traffic. Oh, and cool, look at that. There's ore industry little freight train things. Oh, that's so neat. A Sony, and oh my god, our profit is 50,000? We're rich! <laughs> Who thought selling goods quickly would make us so much more money? All right, that uh, yeah. Also, this is gonna help with a really big thing, and that is uh, outer city traffic. So sometimes, people from outside the city come into the city just to use the cargo train terminal. And it's like, well, why? <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't know, but they do. 
And thankfully, this one's clo the closest one to the city, like, entryway. So all the outer city traffic should go to this one. Now the big thing, is this running better? Oh my god, a thousand trillion times better. Thank freaking goodness, man. Traffic has died down, like, well, you can see it for yourself. It's actually controllable here. <laughs> oh my god. Night and day difference. Also, you know, I have to admit, this turned out really cool. I like the little NASCAR track we kind of got going on here. That's neat. It's a neat little thing. Just gotta line this up a little bit better. I was following the train tracks, but you know, it always could be tweaked a little bit. There we are. Beautiful. Alrighty. Most cool, most cool. Money in the bank forever now. And oh my freaking goodness, is this highway getting some use, man? Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a lot of freaking traffic. <laughs> What's my average traffic flow? Yeah, my average traffic flow is going down because of this. Oh, and because of this mess. But that's an easy fix, actually, here. All we have to do, junction. Uh, boop. Just a stop sign from this way, so these people have the right-of-way, and usually that fixes everything. Same dealio over here. Same dealio over here. And that just clears up the main road, so if you want to get to the exit, you can. Very, very quickly. And it'll take a little bit, but it should work out. Just wondering, where, where are you guys going? Why are you, why are you doing that? Why are they trying to cross? To get to the highway faster? Is that it? Might be. Or they're trying- oh, they're trying to get to the storage, of course. Okay. We can fix that then quickly. Just with a handy dandy bridge! Now everybody's happy! And I got a bridge in there. Coolio, coolio, coolio! So traffic's going well. This still is backing up a bit, but at this point... I think I just need more cargo... Uh, uh, train terminal things and I don't know where else to put one right now when we put in our new industry area Or at least our next industry area We'll add in another one and that will probably solve the traffic problem down here Now there is one more thing we still have to do with this area And I think you guys know what it is of course we have to add in our public transit so no people are actually driving in here and clogging up the traffic even more. <laughs> and you know what? Since we've been messing with trains pretty much half the episode here, let's just bring in a train as public transit. So we're gonna put a train stop right off over here. I made this extra road, it kind of connects to everything a little bit, and it should help people get everywhere. So we'll just have that right on in here. And now we have to connect from here all the way over to here. <laughs> Which will be a ton more fun. Oh my god, let me off this crazy train. <laughs> oh, the train line's in. Oh my goodness. It runs parallel directly next to the other cargo train line. Scoots over in this kind of zigzag over here. Goes to this one and reconnects with our city. And, oh my gosh. I have never done so much train work on a city in my life. Gracious. Goodness gracious. Look at all this infrastructure we put in. And to be honest here, I wanted to do a lot more today, but... Gosh, this took a lot longer than I thought. So I think we're gonna have to end it off here. So, if you guys enjoyed, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of City Skylines. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye